What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So on today's video or recipe, I'm going to be doing two different types of Spanish rices. Um, I'm going to be doing the orange rice, um, which is your typical Spanish rice that you guys may see in restaurants. And I'm going to be doing the white one, which is a little bit more on the sweeter side. Um, both two delicious options. And I know a lot of people struggle with the orange rice. And this video was actually really requested from a lot of you guys wanting to learn how to make rice. So I got you guys, gonna give you guys two different rice recipes. Super simple, you guys just wanna make sure that you follow all of the ingredients, follow each step, and wanna make sure that you guys get the measurements and the time correctly. So get out a pen and paper, take some notes down. And of course, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button down here. Um, we are on our way to 500 subscribers, so I know you guys could get me there. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get started. Here are the ingredients. All right, guys, so here are the ingredients for our orange rice, depending on how many cups of rice you guys wanna make. I'm gonna be doing one cup of rice. You're gonna be needing a small, little bit of a tomato sauce. So this is sauce, not paste. And you're gonna be needing about two to three tablespoons of that, so you don't have to get a big can. Uh, if you want to add veggies to your rice, I love corn in my rice. So I'm going to be adding some sweet corn. And for that flavor, you're going to need some chicken flavored bouillon. When we go ahead and golden our rice, we're going to be adding a garlic clove and some onion in there. That's really all you need. Super simple, super easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to grab some olive oil. You would definitely would need some oil, whatever oil you use to cook. Here I have olive oil. Now I'm just going to add enough olive oil to um, cover most of the surface of this. Not too much, but you just need enough to uh, fry or brown your rice. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this to medium heat, and then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of wait till the oil gets a little bit hot. Okay guys, so we have heated up our oil, and one way for me to check is I'm gonna get a wooden toothpick, or if you have a wooden stick, whoop, that was scary. So if you just kind of dive it in, if you see it bubbling right there, you know that your oil, oil is really hot. Now I'm gonna be adding in my garlic clove. I'm gonna be adding in my onion, and then just gonna kind of let that fry or golden a little bit. I'm just gonna be doing this to add some flavor to my oil, and then I'm gonna be removing it out. All right, so I'm just gonna use my spoon to kind of just um, give this a turn. And you guys can see that it is pretty hot. So I'm gonna actually lower down the heat just a tad bit. I think I heated up my oil a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna kind of move this around and give my oil that extra flavor from the garlic and the onion. And you guys should be uh, doing this just for about three to five minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay, so you guys can tell that my onion and my garlic is a little brown. Now I'm gonna be adding one cup of rice in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brown this before I add the water. So you wanna make sure that you guys just toss and turn. You wanna make sure that you guys do this so that your rice doesn't burn. And once again, you're just kind of browning the rice. So with your hot oil, with all of the flavors of the onion, the garlic, you're gonna be adding just some extra flavors onto this rice. Then just make sure that you guys are constantly turning it so that it doesn't burn. So I've been tossing and turning this for about three to four minutes now, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove my garlic clove from in here. I'm not gonna keep it in here, so I'm gonna remove this out. And I'm also gonna be removing my onion. Now, if some of the rice sticks on the onion, not the end of the world, um, but if you can, take some of it off um, so that you, know, you don't take out all of your rice. Um, so I'm gonna remove that onion. So you could leave the onion in there, just personal preference uh, for me. I don't like when it's in there, um, so I decided to take it out. But as you guys can see, um, my rice looks a little bit more brown and golden in some spots. Um, so that's exactly what you want to do. And you want to make sure it just doesn't burn. You just always want to make sure it's being tossed and turned. So we're going to go ahead and add in our water next. Okay, so for our water, I'm going to be doing two cups. Now remember that I added one cup of rice, 
So for whatever rice that you guys add, woo. So whatever rice you guys add, if it's one cup, two cups, you're gonna wanna double the amount of water. So if you add two cups of rice, you're gonna need four cups of water. So here I did one cup of rice, so I'm doing two cups of water. It's gonna kind of toss and turn everything. Perfect. All right, now using my tomato sauce, this is the shortcut, you guys. You don't have to use actual tomatoes, you can, but hey, this turns out just as fine. So I'm gonna be doing two and a half of these uh, tablespoons of tomato sauce. So that go, there goes one, here goes two, and there goes uh, two and a half. So I'm gonna kind of just give this a quick turn. Awesome, so I got my tomato sauce in there. Okay, and next I'm gonna be bringing in my chicken bouillon. I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons of this as well. There goes one, and here goes two. I'm gonna give this a mix. All right, and next I'm gonna be adding about one cup of corn. This is equivalent to about half of the cup of the corn that I used. Uh, this is one can, 15.25 ounces. Gonna get my corn and just kind of mix this all together so the corn is spread out evenly. Now remember the vegetables are optional. People will add green beans, they'll add uh, uh, corn, of course, and then sometimes people even add peas. So totally up to you, carrots, whatever you like. Um, for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple and add some corn, because I love my rice with corn. All right, so we are good on the salt on our end, and we're gonna go ahead and bring this to, well, this is actually already came to a boil. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this. We're gonna bring this to a simmer and lower down the heat. And then from here, I'm gonna be putting in a timer for a total of 20 minutes. And this is exactly what you don't wanna do. Is This is what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna open the lid onto this. You just wanna leave the lid on. Make sure you do not open the lid to check on your rice. Leave it cooking for 20 minutes with the lid closed. We set our timer. We brought the heat down to a simmer. And we're gonna let that cook for a total of 20 minutes. And we'll check back on it. Three, two, one. So you guys have it, you heard the alarm now. I'm gonna put the camera down so you guys can see. We're gonna lift this up. This is the first time I lift this bad boy up since we started. Now let's go ahead and check it out. It looks good so far. Now let's see, I'm gonna turn down the heat. Oh, look at that, you guys. You guys can see that nice orange color. Now I'm gonna move the bottom just to kind of check where we're at with our water. And as you guys can tell, our water has evaporated. Everything looks really good. Here, I think we use the right amount of tomato sauce. Now, I am grilling, just some FYI, I'm grilling some chicken thighs here. We season them with paprika and some garlic salt, and we are grilling that, so we're gonna be pairing that up with our chicken. Now, let's go ahead and do a little taste test on this guy, and then we'll go ahead and move forward with the white one. Awesome guys, so here you have it. Looks super delicious. I love the color um, that it came out and I just love, you know, it's not too moist and mushy. Sometimes people add too much water and it becomes super mushy. So I'm gonna go do a little taste test of this. Um, let's go ahead and dig right in. Mm -hmm. Wow, on point, this would be super good with like a carne asada, some grilled chicken. We're actually grilling some chicken thighs. So, came out just perfect, not too salty. Mm. And I think I could taste like a little bit of the, um, how I browned it, a little bit toasty, but it doesn't taste burnt, which is really cool. Mm. I love rice. Like, I could eat this rice with like, a, like, 
my family knows me whenever we go to family parties. This may, I may sound like a fattest, but I will eat like a cup of rice, like in a styrofoam cup, and just like eat rice, like bomb. I can just eat rice at parties. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Super good, awesome. So there you go. That's a shortcut to Spanish Mexican rice. Now let's go ahead and get started on our second rice, which is another version of Mexican rice, but it is white and it's made with a different ingredient. Instead of tomato, we actually use butter. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are your ingredients for our white Mexican rice. So we got some rice. Key ingredient here is some butter. We're gonna need some more of that chicken flavored bouillon. Of course, some corn. And you guys, really unique flavor in my rice is gonna be coming from this cilantro. So some fresh cilantro and of course, some pepper. You don't need any salt because as you know, the chicken flavored bouillon um, could be salty seasoning, so no additional salt, but let's go ahead and get started on our white rice. Okay, so for my white rice, I'm actually gonna be heating up two cups of water. I'm also gonna be doing here one cup of rice. Okay, so I actually added two tablespoons of butter, and now I'm gonna add one tablespoon and a half of my chicken flavor bouillon. So I have one tablespoon and a half, I'm gonna kind of use this to just mix it in there so that all of the excess comes off of my tablespoon. All right, now I'm just gonna go get my salt and pepper. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top just to your liking. I like to just get a really good decent amount of salt and pepper in there. And now using my spoon, I'm just gonna kind of give this a couple stirs so that the all the mixes kind of get to know each other and they all mix in together. Now that that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for 20 minutes, but we're gonna come back here in about 10 minutes when it's halfway cooked. We're gonna store in our corn and our cilantro. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on here. I do have the heat on medium, and then we'll be back in about 10 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. You guys can see it's almost done cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle in my corn. This is about a cup of corn, a little less than a cup actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a couple turns. And then now I'm just gonna get enough cilantro to just kind of cover the top part. And it's up to you if you wanna just use the leaves or if you wanna keep the stems. Um, we like keeping everything in there. Oh, except that big piece. And you just want to put enough cilantro, again, just to kind of cover the top. And up to you if you guys want to keep the stem. So, take that. Awesome. So I have my cilantro there. I'm going to go ahead and just close the lid. And then I'm going to bring this down to a simmer. And then for another 10 minutes, um, we'll let that cook. So we have nine more minutes to go. Brought it down to a simmer. Now our water should evaporate soon. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys heard that beep, but our time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and check the bottom of this rice and see how much water is left over. And if you guys could see that, it looks it's pretty much done. Oh, it smells good right away when you open it. You could just like smell that cilantro. It tastes super good. Um, let's go ahead and do a little taste test with you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. All right, guys, there you have it. White Spanish rice, white Mexican rice, whatever you want to call it. Looks super good, super delicious. It's super hot still, so I hope I don't burn my mouth or my tongue with this. But let's go ahead and dig in and do a little taste test. I think if you guys um, don't add cilantro in there, just as fine, but I feel like the cilantro just adds a ton of great flavor to my rice. I actually got the, this uh, cilantro tip from one of my tias. Oh, I'm so excited to give this a try. My mouth is watering. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's so perfect. It's delicious. Mm. Perfect. This one, because of the butter, is a little bit more like 
I want to say um, like stickier compared to the orange one. So don't uh, hesitate if you know it looks a little bit mushy. It's definitely not mushy. You guys can see the rice is super flaky, but because of the butter, it just comes out a little bit more. I don't know, mushy. I can't find the right right word, but mm, it is super delicious. I think moist. Moist is the right word. Mm. And if I have cilantro in my teeth, guys, don't take screenshots, don't post that over the internet, but I just love the cilantro, super good, super delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yum. Wow, that was good, some good rice. But there you have it, you guys. Two Spanish rice recipes that you guys could follow, make for your carnasadas, for your home dinners, I don't know, for your meal preps, if you guys want to have some Spanish rice for your, those meal preps. Super easy to follow. Just make sure you guys follow the time and follow the ingredients. I'm going to put them down in the description below. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, drop a comment of what you guys want to see next. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.